Welcome! In front of me is an Honor Pad 8 and today I will show you how you can capture a screenshot on this device. So to get started, open up content that you wish to capture. I will be using home screen as an example for this, so it's already opened and visible on my screen. Once that is the case for you, all you need to do is hold your power button and the volume down at the same time. You'll have this pop-up right here with two options, swipe up to share and swipe down to capture a scrollable screenshot. Though right now this wouldn't be accessible to me because there's nothing to scroll down on. Uh, where it is accessible is for instance in a browser where you have a bunch of results and you can continuously swipe down. Now, once you've captured your screenshot, you can find it in your photos application. And by default, you'd usually be located in the photos tab right here. And you might see, for instance, uh, first at the very top, instead of screen screenshots, you will see text photos and then a bunch of photos. Uh, and then below you might see the text screenshots and then under that obviously the content. So if you just capture the screenshot, you should be able to see it somewhere like relatively early in the list. So for me, this is the screenshot. For some reason, it's literally between the three. So we have two screen recordings and one screenshot and it's in the middle, even though it should have been placed in a chronological order, but it's not. And you can also tap on the text itself screenshot, and this will take you to the album where you can see all your screenshots and screen recordings. And again, uh... Huh? Oh, I know why, why it's not like that. So typically this would have been actually set correctly uh, in a chronological order. So the newest one would be the first one. So here it is uh, my newest screenshot. The reason this is showing up first and showing the wrong date is because I didn't have internet connection and didn't bother selecting a correct one. So the tablet, I guess, was set to the year 2028, a couple years ahead. And when I connected to network, it automatically fixed it. Therefore, these are at correct date and time. But anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.